Today I'm going to be doing a video on dynamic grass system light and this contains a lot of blueprints on grass and a whole bunch of other stuff and here it is. I'll go here to my maps and I'll click demo map. Hit play. And we'll go walk into this question mark over here. It says, press enter to spawn a UFO. Oh, there's a UFO. Press enter to spawn a UFO. Hmm. Alrighty. Um... Let's go to this, and this uh, has all the blueprints to do all this stuff. Press enter to spawn a building. Dynamic grass blockers can be used to remove grass under dynamically spawned structures, buildings. This way grass won't penetrate buildings, campfires, or any structures added in the game. Okay. See, I can read. Enter to spawn an NPC, non-playable character. There's another one. There's another one. Okay, one more. All right. And you can see that as they walk, they're knocking down all the grass, too. I'm thinking they should make these towers different colors. So that I know which ones I've been to. Press enter to start the vehicle. Well, lights come on, tail lights come on. Yeah, well that was neat. And it knocks down the grass. And here, press enter to start the harvester. And it's mowing down all the grass. I didn't die. Oh, let's see. Here's a big black one here. Oh, that's one I just did. Press enter to start the vehicle. I already did that. Press enter to spawn a building. All righty. Um, Press enter to spawn a ball. And then I also got instructions over here on the left. It says press 1, press 2, press 3, and press 4. Number 4 is a bomb. He even shakes the earth. Okay, left, right, 
and all that changes the wind direction. R changes wind strength. And E changes the wind strength. Alrighty. V spawns foliage. Tab changes to first person. Ah, oh, there's some of that foliage that I spawned. Tab or er, alt gives me cursor. Now I can hit V. Alrighty, let's uh, hit uh, Alt so that I can move around. I think there's any of these. Still not moving around right. Well, now I am. All right. Let's see if I press enter to start vehicle. Well, there might be some more here. I don't know, but there's a lot of stuff. I'm going to exit out of this. And we'll check out the blueprints on this stuff. You got textures. Let's see. There's your different grass and things. There's just simple ground. Okay. And here's the blueprints for the grass. I can see how getting these blueprints could save a, a lot of time and make a really nice game. meshes okay looks like yeah there's some like a fern didn't see in a game particles Well, anyway, uh, if you're planning on making a game, be sure to check out the, this dynamic grass. Looks like there's a whole lot more here that I didn't do, but this gives you an idea of what all it has and how much it could really save your time when it comes to making blueprints. Anyway, be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment and i hope this is helpful thank you